what happens when you go into the social setting? You go to the city or you go to the school and it's the first day there. You don't really know anyone there. You get to know the people, you analyze the people, you judge the people within a few milliseconds. And you know if you like them or not. But these days, everyone is either friend or foe. And most people are neutral, which is a problem. When someone is a friend, you can trust them. You can talk to them, you can have a great time with them. When someone is foe, when someone is your enemy, you don't like them, you wouldn't talk to them, you wouldn't trust them, you wouldn't like want to hang out with them. But a lot of people are neutral, which kind of messes our mind up. Because we don't know if they're friendly or enemy. So we have to find out if the person is friend or foe. And most people are neutral. We live in like this. Let me explain it differently. Like when we had tribes a thousand years back, we had our tribe, everyone in there was friendly. If someone messed up and we found out they're a foe, we kicked them out. But these days, like when you go to the city and you see a thousand people, you're like really anxious, self-conscious. You don't know what everyone else is thinking. You don't know their name, what they're up to, what their intentions are. So it's all normal, they're like neutral. And that gives us like a lot of anxiety. So I'm kind of an anxious per anxious person. And when I see someone with like, who's going to the gym, who has like bigger muscles than me, I get like self, self-aware self and I'm like, oh, I should train bigger. That guy is like a, like a threat, like a foe. And at school I went to the toilet and I was this like black guy and I was like, you go to the gym? And he was like, no, I don't. Like, just, like, joking, and then he obviously did, and then I just said to him, like, oh, you have a nice physique. And then he was like, oh, thank you, I appreciate it, something like that. So he was, like, a foe in my mind, because he was, like, a threat to me. He's bigger than me, he could maybe kill me, or it's, like, kind of talking from an evolutionary perspective, right? Like, he's not going to harm you or anything, but he's a bigger guy, and I'm intimidated by him. So what I did, I talked to him, and instead of, like, have like a bad per perception of him and seeing him as like a foe, even though I don't know him. I tried to talk to him for just like two sentences. And now I'm less scared of him, scared. I'm less intimidated by him. And I know he's just another human being and he's actually probably friend, not foe. So I encourage you, when you go into a social setting, like school or something like that, you have to communicate with people. It's normal. You can't get, like, you can't, just run away from people and not talk to them because you're like scared of if they're friend or foe or neutral. So what you do is if you think someone is a foe, just talk to them for a bit and you will realize they're actually friendly. You wouldn't like maybe spend time with them besides school or work or when you go into the city. But you could also find out that they're really friendly and you want to hang out with them. But at least don't put them into the like neutral category. You have to know if people are like bad people, foe, or friendly people, friends. And that's just like a quick reminder because it really messes with my brain and probably also with your brain when you go somewhere and you don't know anyone. The first day of school, I was like, this guy, I don't like the way he looks, like this guy is kind of talking in a weird way. But now I'm four weeks in and I realize that most people are actually friendly. So like everyone in my class is kind of like friend now, friendly, not neutral, not foe. So that was just like a quick reminder. You have to find out if people are friend or foe. And if they're neutral, it's going to mess with your mind.